Good morning, I am Mrs. Kirk. This is my accelerated math 6-7 at Wilder Middle School. Today we are going to be learning how to multiply fractions. All right, so last class we talked about multiplying fractions with the area model. So I wanna talk about multiplication just a little bit. So like when you multiply integers, so you can get your notebook out. So get your notebook out. So this is review, right? So when you multiply integers, so say you wanted to do two times three. What's two times three? Six. 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 How do you know it's six? Because three two times six. So it is looking for either three groups of two or, so either three groups of two or two groups of three, right? So you can actually do um, like two groups of three, and that makes six, right? So that's how we know that two times three is six. So it's really you're trying to find groups of, right? Okay, so when we multiply fractions, I wanted to make sure that we understood why we use the area model. So this y'all can write in your notebook. So multiplying fractions so say we wanted to so multiplying fractions is similar to multiplying integers but instead of finding how many groups of something you're actually learning um, you're finding part of a part because you're multiplying two fractions right so a fraction is just a part of a number right so when you multiply two fractions you're finding a part of a part so for example if we had one half times one eighth Last class, we used the area model, right? So this is technically, I'm gonna write it down here so we can see, this is half of one eighth. That's really what we're looking for. We're trying to find out what is half of one eighth. Yes. Okay, so I like it and that's where we're going today. We're gonna to learn the rule. Some of you guys already know the rule, but we're gonna do the area model first, right? So. Last class, how did we start off the area model? We want to represent one of these, right? So let's go ahead and represent one eighth. How would we represent one eighth with the area model? Casey? So we're going to draw a box with eight sections, right? Now, when you have an even number to draw like eight even sections, split it in half, right? That's sort of half. It's okay to not be perfect eight equal sections. So split it in half, then split it in half again on both sides. How many sections do we have now? So then each section split in half again and we should get eight, right? So then we're gonna split each half, each little section in half. Now we should have eight sections total, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many are we going to shade? One. one. Why one? one we're representing one eighth, right? So we're going to shade just one bar. Now we are trying to find half of that. So then what do we do to the area model to find one half of one eighth? Kennedy? Cut it, cut it in half. So we're gonna go this way this time, right? And we just cut it in half because this fraction is one half. So we're splitting the other way in half, right? Then what do we do? Color one part of, so either the top or the bottom. What do y'all wanna color, top or bottom? Top. All right, let's color the top. So we're going to color the whole top. All 
and then there's only part that is double shaded, right? So how many sections are double shaded? One. One. So that is our numerator or our denominator? Numerator. Yes, so this will be our numerator. So our numerator will be one. And then how do we find our denominator? Count it all up, right? So how many sections do we have total? Sixteen. Mm-hmm. So that's what we did last class. Questions on the area model? Majority of y'all did your homework. Good job. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to discover how to multiply fractions without the area model, right? So we're going to discover the rules. Some of y'all may know it, um, but we want to work together and kind of show others how we know it and how we can prove it with the area model. So I'm going to randomly group y'all and you're going to go to the whiteboard and work on a problem. Okay, so King, Skylar, Casey, y'all are going to go where number one is. There should be a marker over there. Kennedy and Diamond are working together at number two back there. Amina and Caleb are going to be at three. And then Taylor and Cindy are going to be at four. No, this is three. This is four. So I'm going to move our anchor chart over here. Okay, so at your station, I want you to solve this with the area model. And then once you, are, once you have solved it and you've come up with your answer, then I want you to try to write a rule based off of your answer. Is there some sort of pattern that you noticed as far as from what we did there and then what you guys are going to do with this? So find the product using the area model and then try to come up with a rule. And then once you come up with a rule, come up with another problem to prove that it works more than just with this. I think if you do the fives on the top, so it'll be easier to do on the bottom. Yeah, it's like it was the top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then one times three is three. So you'll get the same answer just by multiplying that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like. Mm -hmm. And then you're going in the other direction, you're shading three. Wait, which, which right? direction? So which direction do you have five total, right? If you're trying to represent mm -hmm. three fifths. Mm -hmm. So if this is the one, two, three, four, five, like yeah. columns, right? How many of those should be shaded? Like three. Uh huh. So shade three columns. This one is your one third, right? And then yes, yes. So all the way across, right? One third. And then this one is it? What is this showing? If one is shaded out of five, what fraction is that? One fifth, right? What are you trying to represent? Yes. So then, how many should be shaded? Should it just be one shaded out of the five? Mm-hmm. Good. Now look for which ones. How many are double shaded? Most five. It give you. Okay. Did everybody get it? Fifteen. Yeah. It can't be simplified. If you didn't get it yet, keep working on the first problem. That's fine. Um, but move on to the next one. So it is not just a normal problem, right? So let's read it. Make sure we understand what we're doing. Remember, multiplying fractions is you're finding part of a part, right? So that should tell you that that is multiplication, right? You're finding half of three-fourths of a Kit Kat bar, right? Okay. 
Good job, group one, looking good. And y'all are sharing the marker, great job. Yes, good job. Okay, have y'all come up with a rule yet for multiplying? Like if you if you just look at this, yeah, is there a way you can come up with that without doing the area model? Beautiful, I like it. Did y'all see a rule? Uh huh. It goes across. Good. So can y'all just make up another problem? Any two fractions? Use your rule of multiplying across, right? And then prove it with the area model. Okay. So just like multiplication, you could find three-fourths of a half or half of three-fourths. But if that makes more sense to you. So draw one at a time, right? So how would you draw three-fourths? Mm-hmm. Good. And then you color in three of them. And then the other fraction goes to the opposite. So if you go down... For the first one, how would you separate that into a half? You would just do a line across, right? And then shade in both of, of the top, like shade in the top and the bottom, or just one of them? Right, for one half, right? So we're just filling in half of it. Just like you're multiplying the top numbers and you're multiplying the bottom numbers, right? Okay, so come up with two other fractions, multiply them, and see if that works by proving it with the area model. Does that make sense? So do the multiplication first, then do the area model to prove it. What are we doing? We're we coming up with examples? If you already came up with an example and you're done, That's do six. another example. That's six. Mm -hmm. Let me try this one. one. Okay. Why? Because then it would be seven. Right? It's going to be eight. It's going to be seven. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's just different. Okay. And then Amina was ten times four. So now so we'll we'll swap it. Ahead and do it. And we keep it on top, right? And having five, two, seven, half. Okay, now the task is y'all have to check to make sure that that's true by using the area model, right? So that we can see that that actually is true. So y'all gonna have to. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so um, who wants to share the rule that they figured out? Casey, go ahead. Um, so I multiply the denominator. Multiply the de denominator, good. Yeah, and then I just multiply the, the numerator. Okay, good. So multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator. So one times three is, who wants to share? Three, Caleb. Caleb, you want to do the next one? Three times five? Fifteen. And then if we show it with the area model, right? So that we can actually prove that that is true. First, we want to separate it into five. Mm, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be even, y'all. Ignore me. One, two, three, four, five, right? All right, then how many do we shade? Three, so we're gonna shade three of those, right? And then we have to represent one third, right? So what do we do? We make the three. And we go the opposite direction, yeah. right? So we're gonna split it this way into three sections. And then how many do we shade? One. One, so we're gonna shade just one of those. And then how many do we have shaded, double shaded? Three. three of them, right? So we see these three right here are double shaded, which is the three that we have on top. And then how many total, 15. right? We have five, 10, 15. Good, so the rule applies. Okay, so for this one, um, we have three fourths of a Kit Kat bar, and then we only ate half of it. So we're finding half of the three-fourths of your Kit Kat bar. So whenever you have um, a word problem, right, 
you want to look at, because right now we know we're working on multiplying fractions, but in the future you're going to have to decide when you multiply fractions, right? So remember, whenever you're finding part of a part, right, you're finding half of the three-fourths of the Kit Kat bar that was left, right? All right, so then what did the rule tells us to multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator. So what do we get? 12, 12, 3 over 12. 3 over 8. Thanks for joining our class today. Today we learned how to multiply fractions. Go, Go Marines!